Hi, I'm Ariana and I'm on the professional learning team at Code.org. In this video, I'll take you on a tour of key features of the Code.org website. When you sign into your teacher account on Code.org, you will be taken to your teacher homepage, my dashboard. This is where you will go to add and manage class sections, view curricula you and your students have worked on, and access additional resources. For more information about creating a section and assigning curriculum to your students, check out our video, Creating a Class Section. After you create class sections, all your classes will appear in the classroom sections area of this homepage. As students within your classroom section complete work, you can track their progress through your section dashboard. To access a section's dashboard, click on the name of the class section you want to view. Once here, you can view progress by individual lesson or levels within a lesson. Assessment and choice level types are marked to help you track those important assignments. Assessment levels are opportunities to review your students' work and check on their progress. These are marked by stars next to their level number. Choice levels provide multiple options for tasks that students can perform. On the student side, they look like this. In the progress view, they'll have a forked arrow next to their level number. The progress view includes features that provide more detail of assignment completion states, so you can tell if your students have started or completed their work. There are also symbols to help you track which assignments need feedback, have been given feedback, or have been marked as keep working. These other sections allow you to view students' text responses, assessments, projects, and classroom statistics. You can also manage or edit your class roster from here. If you would like to view data from a different section, you can switch to that section by clicking on the section dropdown. To return to your homepage, click on the code.org logo in the upper left-hand corner of the screen. You can also access our curriculum catalog from your homepage by clicking Course Catalog in the top navigation bar. You can browse code.org curricula and filter by grade, duration, topic, device, and curriculum. Once you're ready to assign a curriculum to your students, click the purple Assign button and choose the appropriate section. Back on the homepage, you can click on the course name in the Courses column for your section. This will bring you to the Course Overview page, where you can view the curriculum content. This page provides a short description of each unit. The course also has a blue Teacher Resources drop-down menu to access additional resources. If you want to view information about a specific unit within the course, you can scroll to that unit and click the Go to Unit button. This will bring you to the Unit Overview page. On the Unit Overview page, you can learn more about each lesson within the unit. On the top of this page, you have another teacher resource dropdown. However, these resources are specific to the unit that you are teaching. You have printing options and can view and modify a unit calendar based on the weekly minutes you meet with your students. Below, you will find a short description of each lesson within the unit. From this area, you can access resources for the lesson and manage whether or not your students can see the content by using the visible and hidden buttons. Each lesson within the course has a lesson plan. Click the View Lesson Plan button to access the lesson plan. Each lesson contains an overview, purpose, assessment opportunities, standards, and a short agenda. Lessons also have accompanying slides in the link section. Also available are lesson objectives, information about preparing to teach the lesson, and additional links to resources for teachers and students. Below is a detailed teaching guide to guide you through teaching the lesson with your students. Once here, if you would like to visit a lesson plan for a different lesson within the unit, you can use the purple Other Lessons in This Unit dropdown. To return to the unit overview page, click on the back arrow or the small purple text with the arrow and the unit name. To return to the teacher homepage, click on the code.org logo in the upper left-hand corner of the screen. Finally, the professional learning page allows you to find professional learning opportunities, including our self-paced modules and facilitated workshops. This page keeps track of your professional learning. You can even share a certificate of completion. 
If you have questions about features you saw in this video or need additional support while teaching, you can click on the question mark in the upper right-hand corner of your screen to access additional support and resources.